Hey guys, it's another episode of the Knudsen Garden Update and I'm out here in the JC Park next to one of the milkweeds that our students planted a few years ago and something really exciting has happened. I want to show you we have a visitor at our milkweed. Let's take a look and see what it is. All right, so looking at our milkweed, if we get closer and closer and closer and see if we can bring our camera into focus here. You can see the antennas. Come on here. There we go. It's caterpillar! Yay! It is a caterpillar. Now, you might think, oh, is this a monarch caterpillar? No, it is not. It's a very close relative, though, to a monarch caterpillar. This is called a queen. And how can you tell that it's a queen? Well, it's got three pairs of antenna. You got some antennas on the front and some antennas on the back. You also have these antennas about part way uh, down from his head. That's what a queen looks like. Monarch butterfly, monarch caterpillars look a lot like this, except they don't have that third uh, set of antenna. They just have the two. But this is really cool that we actually have a monarch caterpillar, well, like a queen caterpillar, a monarch relative on our milkweed. Uh, one of the things you might have noticed actually is that we've been getting a lot of butterflies flying through town right now. Uh, thousands and thousands, millions of butterflies. And this queen is just one of them. So we had a queen that must have flown through the park, seen this milkweed and decided, ooh, that's a good place. Because it turns out that queen butterflies are a lot like monarchs in that they need milkweeds for their offspring. So, uh, very cool. Uh, we will maybe show you a picture of a queen butterfly. They look a lot like monarchs. Uh, there are some very important differences. Uh, they're fairly easy to tell apart if you look uh, kind of closely. But uh, anytime we have a caterpillar uh, like this, it's happy time because that's why we grew these milkweeds so that we could attract some migrating butterflies of the Danaeus <laughs> genus. So, very cool. This is a monarch butterfly. This is a butterfly whose population has dropped dramatically in the Western United States over the past 30 years or so. You can tell that it's a monarch because it has this brilliant pattern of orange uh, wings with black veins and a, a black trim around the outside with white dots on the outside uh, on the black trim. This is not the kind of butterfly that laid an egg on our milkweeds, but we hope someday one will uh, visit our milkweeds. Now, this is different from the queen butterfly. You can see the queen butterfly has these orange wings, but the black veins are not as prominent and it has white spots on the wings, not just on the black trim along the outside. Uh, queen butterflies are close relatives of monarchs. They're the same genus, um, but they haven't received as much attention um, as monarchs have. But in fact, I actually see more queen butterflies in our area than I see monarchs. Um, that's anecdotal, sure, but uh, suggests that maybe their population is not in as much trouble as the monarch butterflies population. Now the uh, other butterfly that is orange and black and white and kind of looks like a monarch that you're going to see around here it's called a painted lady. And we actually have a lot of painted ladies who migrate through 
in the fall and in the spring. They're very common. And unlike monarchs and queens, painted ladies aren't nearly as picky about the plants that they will uh, lay their eggs on. Their caterpillars will grow on several different kinds of plants and that contributes to their high populations, but they're much smaller than monarchs. And when their wings are folded together, they kind of look gray. So painted lading, you're gonna see a lot of them, but don't confuse them for monarchs. We also have another orange and black butterfly. It's called the sagebrush checker spot. Uh, this is more native to our part of the American Southwest. You'll see them occasionally. Uh, they're much smaller than monarchs and queens. They're even a little smaller than a painted lady. Uh, they're pretty, but as you can see, they're quite different than monarchs. They don't have any white spots. Their wings aren't tipped with black. Um, and again, they're much smaller than a monarch. So those are some of the butterflies that you're gonna see around here that look kind of like monarchs, but aren't. All right. Uh, along with the caterpillar, I do wanna talk about one other, th one other thing that's growing in our garden right now. They are the red noodle beans, and they are looking really cool, and they taste really good too. So let's take a look at them. All right, our red noodle beans are what we call a pole bean, which means they like to grow up along poles. And here we've got a sunflower stalk from earlier in the year that our pole bean is happily climbing up. And you can see this pole bean puts out some very beautiful flowers. They look very nice. And when those flowers are pollinated, they make a red noodle bean. You can see why they call it a noodle bean. These can get really long. They're very cool. And they actually taste really good too. And normally they come in pairs. Okay, and you can see where these flowers form in pairs. So the noodle beans <laughs> form in pairs too. And they're really good, very nutritious for you. They taste a lot like a green bean, except they're red and they're very long. So very cool stuff going on in the garden right now with our pole beans. And I hesitate to mention this, but I think I must. We also have a huge bush of poblano peppers and we've got some pole beans growing here too but our pepper bush is starting to make poblano peppers so very exciting we've got peppers all through here they're little but they are growing so very cool i would say we're probably going to get at least a dozen, maybe two dozen peppers out of this crop. So very cool stuff going on in the garden. So that's it for this morning's episode of the Knudsen Garden Update. Danaeus gelipus, a queen butterfly uh, caterpillar, is growing on one of the milkweeds in the JC Park. We've got noodle beans. We've got poblano peppers. A lot of cool things. Our watermelons are amazing. They're gigantic at this point. So. Stay safe, keep your mask on, and uh, we will see you all later. I ate my noodle bin. Very good. <laughs>